Here, let us learn how to find the sum of n consecutive odd numbers. So all we need to remember here is the formula n square. Now what does n represent? n represents the number of odd numbers that we are going to add. So let us consider the first example. Let us say we need to find the sum of 1, 3, 5 which are 3 odd numbers. So the number of numbers here is 3. Therefore simply substitute an n square which gives us 3 square and that is 9. So 9 is the sum of 1, 3 and 5. Let us check it quickly. 1 plus 3 is 4, 4 plus 5 is 9. All we have to do is find the number of numbers that we are going to add and, and then square it. Very easy, isn't it? Let us try another problem. A little lengthier one. Let us find the sum of first 6 odd numbers. So that becomes 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. So all we have to do is count the number of numbers here. That is 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11 which counts up to 6. So all we have to do is square 6, we get 36. So 36 is the sum of 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 and 11 which is very very simple. Let us do a quick checking. 1 plus 3 equals 4, 4 plus 5 equals 9, 9 plus 7 equals 16, 16 plus 9 equals 25, 25 plus 11 is 36 which is the exact same as the answer we obtained.